Will today be the day that we catch the pig? This is Josh Stony Ridge Farmer, and this is Farm Vlog number 12. Stony Ridge. So, you may have just seen my misapprehension of the pig. Man, this pig is hard to catch. I had him in the trap, I ran down there. All we're trying to do is take him up to the uh, goat so he can have his friends with him. Anyhow, here we are again, square one. I'm gonna put his water inside the uh, cage. Uh, basically, the cage failed. I was unable to hold the pigs. Once again, back to square one. He freaked out when I had him in the cage, and had I known that he could get out so easy, I would have like held the uh, door down. But man, he's strong. Uh, pigs are really strong. Pigs are really strong. America, baby. Don't forget it. So if you guys didn't happen to catch the uh, end of Farm Vlog 11, there was a user that was being quite abusive and using bad language and being a racist. So I called him out and at the end of the video, the last video. Needless to say, I got lots of responses. I got some responses that were threatening and not so nice. I had to report some people to YouTube. Some like almost life-threatening responses. I don't really understand that. Some people just have their own agenda. I don't understand it. But I got life-threatening comments on my last video because I posted something that some person posted to me about white people. It wasn't a very nice thing to say, so I called him out. What am I supposed to do? Ignore it? We don't ignore racism in this country. We shouldn't ignore racism, period. Why is it okay for someone to be racist toward me? It's not. In hindsight, should I have called this person out at the end of my video, which the comment has been deleted, and the other uh, threatening comments have been deleted, which were attached to Farm Vlog 11, they were all deleted also. But this gives me a moderate feeling of unsteadiness, uh, unsafeness. I'm not sure how to how to think about this. You guys. Post some comments, tell me uh, how I should feel about this. So guys, I'm about to get this truck job wrapped up. Just finishing up the brake job here. We had to replace some brake lines, so we'll get that done. My wife's gonna come out and help me bleed the brakes on the truck. Hopefully, we can do this without getting in an argument. <laughs> we'll see. By the way, I've never done this before, but I'm not scared to try stuff. Don't be scared to try stuff in your garage. Don't be scared to try stuff. Try working on your car. If you mess up, you can always call somebody to fix it, but it's good to learn. Learn these things, learn new things, because one day you might not have the means to be able to hire somebody to do this stuff. So all the parts have been installed. We're gonna go get my wife and bleed the brakes with my wife. Should be interesting. Please, God, don't let this be an argument. <laughs> Another thing I forgot to mention today, this paper, what does it say? Paid for, baby. We got the farm paid for. My wife doesn't know it yet. Farm is now paid for. Woo! America's prison is debt. Guys, get out of debt as soon as you can. <laughs> this is Josh at Stony Ridge Farmer, and this is Bleeding Breaks with Your Wife. Mash up. Mash. We got the brakes done, and Mrs. Stony Ridge, she learned a little bit about bleeding brakes. Oh yeah! So inside my chicken coop, I've got a pull string that raises up the sliding door. The pull string is hooked to uh, a washer, and it slides through some ring. I bought some pulleys to put on there, and these pulleys, hopefully they're screen door pulleys, hopefully that'll make that a little bit easier process. I have an extremely long tongue. All right, so we're going up in here. Got my drill, got my pulleys. Gonna climb up in this chicken coop, and uh, it should be pretty ridiculous just watching me try to climb into the chicken coop. After I get up here, you can film me. Oh. All right, so I'm untying my knots here. I'm gonna pull my string back through, take off my little hooks, and put in my uh, little pulley system. Hopefully it'll work good, I think it will. So, the string up here is looped through all these little tabs 
I'm gonna take some wax and I'm gonna rub it on the string and hopefully lubricate the string so that it will uh, slide through those little tabs better. And also, these are our little rollers that we installed just now and it makes things run a whole lot smoother than before. So what I'm gonna do is take this wax and I'm gonna rub it on my string just like you would do on a, on a bow, like a bow and arrow bow. And we'll wax our string up so that it slides much better much more efficient. So another thing that's been looming over my head for a month is I got to get the starter back on this uh, mower right here. So I got all my tools here. We're going to go ahead and put the starter back on. Something's up. I replaced the ignition switch, but something's still amiss. Uh, we bought this mower used. Sometimes it starts good and sometimes it doesn't start so good. I thought it was the ignition switch. Something else is going on. Just uh, another of the many things on the farm that need uh, taken care of. Hand in the butt. Tight quarters. My hands are huge. They don't work so good in tight quarters. Turns out there was just a tiny switch that was broken in there and I realized what was broken, fixed the switch and we got it running. Woo! All right guys, we're gonna plant some bulbs. Got a whole bucket full of bulbs that we harvested the other day and they're delicious, but I'm not gonna eat them because they're not eating bulbs like onions. So what we're gonna do, I got an idea. I'm gonna take my one and a quarter inch bit on my drill and plant these freaking bolts because I don't want to dig a hole for each one. So let's see how it goes. It works. My theory is correct. You can plant bulbs with a drill bit. We're gonna plant some bulbs now, boys. Woo! So in about four minutes, we planted about 100 bulbs using my drill bit technique. I like it. We got the bulbs planted. I think we planted all 250 something bulbs in about 35 minutes. That little drill thing kicked butt. Nice. All right, guys, we're gonna go get this special little piece of paper and hand it to Danielle and see what she thinks. What does it say here? It says, this satisfaction terminates the effectiveness of the security instrument. Which means this is paid for. It's ours. Mm. So this is Josh Stony Ridge Farmer. Thank you for watching. We got the farm paid for. Woohoo! Chickens are happy. <laughs> and that's what matters the most. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and we'll do more redneck hillbilly shenanigans. Alright? Alright. We'll Woo. come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids. We're living life here and sweet. That's the way. Stony Ridge. America, baby. Woo! Don't forget it.